Hello and welcome. So, I'm back, and this time I'm in my bond. So, of course, I still have Sir Steppel. This is my ranger in my bond, level 140, uh, and this, it's called Steppel. So, if you guys want to see me in my bond, uh, feel free. I'm actually in a clan at the moment called Mythic Legends. Uh, but anyway, moving on, I'm joined by Rogue Master in Navalis. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about um, terms and phrases that you must know in Celtic Heroes. So these are things that are very important uh, if you're starting out um, on Celtic Heroes. You'll probably hear a lot and you're going to need to know what they mean. Okay, so to begin our countdown, we're going to start off with Lixes. So what is a Lix? Lix is a common term used, uh, obviously abbreviated from Elixirs. Now, elixirs can vary with their properties from giving uh, extra attack speed, from giving extra armor, to health generation, to movement speed, and you even get these which are called super combinations, which are a mixture of all of them. Uh, now, you do actually get um, a special lix called a no, or a skskks if you're from other servers. Now, the last one I just said there, the skskks is obviously taking a piss. Uh, that's because some servers don't know how to just call it a no, uh, short, shortened from knowledge elixir. So it's not a skskks, it's a knowledge elixir, or a no, uh, which is what we call it green. So that's our first tip. And those are lixers or lixes. Um, also, these are used in an abbreviated term in lixing, and that is purely to, um, to obviously level you up a bit quicker. What we also have is we have something called barrows or narrows, barrows. And these barrows have been mentioned in a previous video. Uh, these help. Uh, increase your pierce damage as well as give you health regeneration. Uh, this is a food from cooking. If anyone refers to these, it's usually to either win locks or to licks faster. So, number two on the list, we've got off hands and main hands. So, these abbreviated are OH and MH. So, main hand, of course, is your primary weapon, which will always be the same slot so this will be in your right hand slot so in my place luckily I've got a void though and in the offhand slot I have the CG quiver now what does CG mean CG is an area this is corrupted gardens so if you ever hear the expression expression CG quiver that is a corrupted gardens quiver which is obtained of course in corrupted gardens uh, obviously that's obtained when you're level 200 and have tier 3 lich just talk to this lady here and she starts your quest as you can see there and you get these from another weekly quest uh, which is where I was standing just before number 3 on the list so we're going to be talking a bit more about armour so our first abbreviation is DG DG stands for Dodge Goal this armor is Dodge Goal. This is obtained when you reach level 220. Uh, when you're able, no, sorry, 215, when you're able to access the Arcane Sanctum. Uh, you'll have to start the quest of Master Smith Equinox, and he will um, grant you these uh, pieces of armor if you um, return it, turn in uh, drops from bosses like Prot or Geli. Uh, Prot is an abbreviation for Proteus. That's either a prime or base, and Geli is an abbreviation of Gelibron, uh, which a lot of these places are named after. So Gelibron is an endgame boss, also found in Arcane Sanctum. It's found just at this little peak on the far right of the map, uh, and Proteus is at the north of the map there, that little, uh, this little bit here. So another thing we're going to talk about is the tiers of armour. So you may hear expressions such as dark, shadow, and void. This can um, be referring to either uh, a Maud helmet, which is like this. This is a shadow scale, which is a tier of void. I mean, a tier of um, Maud helm. Uh, you also get void, which is the highest possible tier. Um, except from with Dino, then there is something called a named weapon which is a double, um, basically the next tier onwards from Void. Uh, and then let's just see if I have any dark items. 
Yes, so this is a dark trident. So this is from Aggie, who is Agaroth or whatever. Uh, that's located in the other world. Uh, another boss abbreviation is Dino, that's Dio. Uh, and that's found in Leah's Reach. That's the big blue dragon that some servers still can't kill. Uh, and then we also have BT, which is Bloodthorn. But anyway, st uh, steering away from that, let's move on to gear again. So we have, obviously, we've talked about Dark, Shadow, Void, and Named. These are, uh, for example, the Mordhelm, my bow, and uh, what was I think, the, the trident I've got here. Then we have um, Jewelry. Now, Jewelry has 10 tiers, uh, excluding the named version, which is, of course, I've explained, just above a Godly or Void. So, the ones that you'll need to know are Mighty, Majestic, Royal, Imperial, Godly, and then obviously named after that. Uh, these uh, are good examples. Here's Majestic. That's plus seven, as you can see, and that's the tier below Royal, which is plus eight. Uh, this theme tends to go on. This is Mighty, so this is plus six. Uh, for those who don't know, unfortunately, in Gwydion, it's extremely rare to find um, anything above Mighty for Thrall Barbs. Uh, this misc is Imperial. This is obviously the tier above Royal. And I don't, unfortunately, have anything Godly. So that's all the, uh, the armors and tiers for that stuff. Okay, so this brings us to our final part of the video. This is just a few extra things that I didn't throw in at the start. So we've, uh, we've got, we're in Stone Bell, so this is SV, which is the abbreviation. And then if we go here to this portal here, it takes us to the other world. The other world is known as OW. So when you hear people say uh, there's an I up in OW, that means in the other world. They say there's a boss in SV, that's Stone Vale. Uh, but anyway, moving on from there, uh, we also have something called a CD swap, or CD. This stands for cooldown. So these are used to reduce the speed of which your skill um, comes back. So when you use any skill, let's go to Light Heal, you'll notice that it cools down. So this red bar, how quickly this comes down, that is a CD swap. So when we use our CD swap, you'll notice it goes down a lot quicker when we wear our CD. See? And that's that. And for the last thing we're going to mention, we're going to mention something a little bit strange. This is something not really talked about, but we're going to talk about prop chance. Now, what the hell does prop chance mean? This just means when you're using the weapon, using the automated attack, how often is the skill that is listed there, which is Divine Strike, how often is that going to uh, be applied? And the percentage there is obviously the percentage chance that it's going to be applied. And that's all. So those are all the phrases and key terms that you need to know. If there are any more, please comment and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Thanks, bye.